Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekah HaKodash. The other honors to the true leaders of the nation of Israel in these last days, the other apostles of the great millstone, also known as GMS. In citation to the Most High's men in the four corners of the earth, pushing his word of sincerity and truth. And shall I want to the sisters that support and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of deliverance and salvation of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, this your brother, Yam Yam from GMS, Mississippi, with an in transit topic going into how the Heavenly Father shall make your enemies your footstool. You know, because when you look at prayers and how prayers work, cursings also work as well. You know, because the Heavenly Father, through His only begotten Son, and the host of the heavenly angels, you know, they hear the cries, the sighs, the prayers, and the requests of the chosen, you know, of the elect. You know, their prayers go not unanswered, although it may appear to be delayed, you know, ultimately the heavenly father, just as his he honors his own word, he also honors your prayers and supplications that are made unto him. You know, so never cease, you know, when it comes to praying. Because it doesn't matter what your situation is. You know, everything is temporal. Everything is seasonal. And if the Most High be with you through grace and through mercy, you know, he'll grant unto you those two things, grace and mercy. Their redemption may be nigh, that salvation may be nigh, that your situation may change, that the Most High may, you know, turn your heart closer towards him. You know, whatever it is that you may be specifically inquiring of the Lord. You know, because the scriptures say to envy thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. You know, because it appears as though they are prospering. Whether they are of Israel or not of Israel, it appears as though that they have everything at their disposal, everything of, the, of, of their heart's desires, and how they treat their fellow man here on planet Earth. You know, it, it goes unchecked. You know, but the most high is definitely 100% without a shadow of a doubt going to be checking these heathens, these evil and unrighteous and wicked doers. 100%. You know, so you can't allow what you would deem as injustice committed against you to allow you to be irrational or emotional in responding to certain events and activities that go around about us. You know, because wickedness is, is set on high in this place. You know, and, and all unrighteousness is viewed as a goodly fashion. You know, so as Yahweh Shah stated, he was going to send us out as sheep in the midst of wolves. And that's exactly where we are, to the left and to the right. You know, because when you look at <clears throat> how people that are not in the fold and the truth and the knowledge you know look at how they actually truly live their lives you know look at how they envy one another look at how they have a disdain and a hatred for one another you know and it goes for israel so-called negroes hispanics latinos and native americans as well you know but also these heathen nations especially starting with esau Edom. you know that particular mountainous caucasoid is the wicked of all wicked and everything in his heart everything in his mind all of his thoughts everything inside of his mouth everything his hand touching everything his feet tread upon is completely and utterly wicked even if there's a, 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 a fake smile to appear sincere you know their heart which is in them is not is, is not upright in them so this is a, 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 an evil despicable a, a nation of people and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not unjust to forget all of the transgressions they have committed against him and his people but I would say against him his only begotten son and his people so somebody has to pay for that because as it is written the most I require it, that which is past. But then not to mention the current. You know, even the headlines in today's time right now in Mississippi, the goon squad, which consists of four to six Rankin County Sheriff Department Edomites, in which I'm in Rankin County currently, you know, who were sodomizing 
attempting to sodomize two Jakes, had them doing sodomy on one another, end up shooting one of the, one of the guys in the in the mouth with his uh, service pistol, amongst a, a bunch of other wickedness, you know. But yesterday, you know, they got sentenced. And one of the guys got sentenced to 27 years. So Esau Edom is losing his power. So as he, in his mind, thinks he's continuing to win, he's losing. He's, he's losing like crazy. It's like five seconds in the fourth quarter, and he's still doing crossovers at the half the uh, uh, half court line. Still, still playing. Still thinking he has a long time, you know? But as it is written, the most side, he's gonna make the time short. You know, he's gonna shorten up the time. And Esau Edom is gonna go into a frenzy. He's gonna go into a panic. Because as Revelation 12 and 12 goes into, you know, he knows that he has but a short time. But, he, but he's so childish and immature, he's still out here at, on planet earth playing around so you know when it comes to irrationality and when it comes to uncontrolled emotions and when it comes to intelligence immaturity all of those lead to your demise every last one of them because there's no way that you can truly Live your life in balance if you can't live your life in control. And in control of what? In control of your emotions, in control of your responses, in control of your reactions, in control of your maturity. So once you lack control there, then you're out of control. It's like a chemical imbalance. When you look at how certain chemicals mix together, some can cause a calm, and some can cause a great explosion. And, I, and, and our bodies being full of the chemicals of the spirit, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem Kakadash, we're full of control. As it is written, let this mind be in you. So therefore, the balance that Yahweh Shai gave us as an example, you know, that's that particular balance that we have to carry in our pocket with us everywhere we go to the best of our abilities. You know, because it's not about an ego, it's not about a get back, it's not about a reaction in these last days because this, this society is going down and this man is freaking losing, bro. So with him losing, he's gonna lose it. He's gonna lose his wits, he's gonna lose his wisdom. There's this one quote that I always keep in mind, when emotions are high, intelligence is low and that is very true because when your emotions get the best of you now you are no longer thinking logically you're thinking reactively you're thinking postactively and the scriptures already go into our righteous man you know he foreseeth the evil meaning that he's proactive and he's thinking pro responsibly and that's truly what it's all about you know in our day to day personal lives work lives home lives daily lives truth lives spiritual lives so on and so forth you know because that's a particular practice that you can absolutely take everywhere you go but Esau Edom is not anyone to be in a, a competition with. The man has already lived out his blessing. He's already taken Jake into captivity. He's already built up and crafted his sword, which is his blessing. He's already been granted multiple kingdoms, multiple rulerships, multiple kings that have ruled. So don't be like the Jakes who talk about the next Warren Buffett, who talk about the Bill Gates, who talk about the Amazon guy. Like, are you crazy? That's the most simpleton mindset to have. 
you're in the land of your captivity and talk about, man, you see how the king living? Man, 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 you see it, man. You see how you see how the Edomites are, man? See, they got something we don't have. Yeah, they have a blessing and we have some cursings. So don't be an idiot. The prospering way of the Lord in this wicked world, this wicked society was granted unto the Edomites and the Amalekites and these other freaking heathens. Us being in, in, in captivity is strictly for Yahweh Hashem Shah to be remembered, glorified, and honored. No more, no less. And for us to come into remembrance of him and turn back from our evil and wicked ways and to serve him with the, a, a clean and pure heart. You know, so as I stated, as the scripture stated in the book of Isaiah, Emma thou not the oppressed and choose none of his ways. You know, go not down to Egypt for help. Because there is no help. The only help we have is Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakadash. So therefore, that help and that aid, that's whom we await. We're not looking for another uh, 2025 president. We're not looking for another king. We're not looking for another individual to oppress us. That's insanity. We want a different result. We want prosperity. We want 40 acres and a mule. You've been in captivity for 400 years. <laughs> I am so astonished at the mindset. I was, because it's laughable. And the astonishment comes from like just, just knowing that the Most High did it. That's what's, it's like, wow. It's like, man, he really, he, he really did a work. He really did a work on us. But be grateful, be thankful that Yahweh Hashem Shai has placed his most holy spirit upon you. Continu continuously pray, such as our uh, great forefather King David in the book of Psalm 51, pray that the Most High take not his holy spirit away from him. You know, but we, we, we pray that the Most High long lastingly deal with us, that we may be, uh, may be able to constantly endure to the end because we all know that the race is not given unto the swift. You know, but it's all about those that endure. And the winners are those that are going to constantly endure. As a good soldier of Yahweh Shem Shai and putting on the whole armor, which consists of the Holy Spirit, which consists of faith, and which consists of works. You know, so with that being said, I want to end off by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Kadash. Double honors once again to the other apostle, Greg Millstone, who really well. And salutations to you brothers and your sisters out there. Until next time, Shalom.